don't mind my hair i'm using rice water what is up you guys yes today is a good day you want to why it's a good day because today it was hot today i'm going to be telling you a story time this was requested by many people for me to start doing story times again so here goes story time i don't know why this is so white right here yes you definitely read the title right without further ado let's get on to the video it was like I don't know, pre-K to second grade maybe. Um, he would get us up for school because my mom would be at work and she wouldn't get off till the morning. She wouldn't get home in the morning on time to get us up for school and get us ready to go you know, to school, take us to school. So my grandfather had to step in and do it. What he would use to get us up in the morning was cold water. So it was not like he would like dump it on us he would just like take some, put it in his hand and just like flick it on us to get up. Me and my brother shared a room. This is at my grandma's house. Uh, we shared a room. And uh, every morning he would just come and throw the water on me. So I didn't like that at all. And when I was little, if stuff wasn't done my way, it, it just had to pay the consequences. Like right now, I'm like, I don't care. But back then, if you messed up, I don't care who you was, you have to pay the consequences. That one day, uh, I would, you know, I was just, I was just really getting sick of him throwing water on me. Like, I just did not like that. Like, it wouldn't be like warm water. Ew, he'll make it icy cold, like, for no reason. After a while, he would just like, it would go to like, just flicks of water to bigger amounts of water. Like, it was just bad, just to get us up. Like, it's lit. the longer we stayed in bed, the more water, right? So I was really getting sick of it. And with me, I would just out of the no, I would just out of nowhere do stuff. Like I wouldn't tell you that I'm about to stab you or try and kill you or whatever. I would just do it. I would think about it and then I would just do it when it's the right time. I don't know what was wrong with me when I was little. Like these are all true stories. The next morning, it just seemed like that water was so cold. I really didn't plan it out. I kind of just thought about it. Like I'm gonna do it and just, I don't care what happens afterwards. I just really wanted to get my point across. I just did it in the most terrible ways. <laughs> all that anger from all the times he was throwing water on us, just build, it up, just build it up. I went in the kitchen, I grabbed a knife. It was something, it wasn't like a, like a butter knife or like a medium sized knife. It was literally like a big butcher knife like this. When I grabbed the knife, I kind of just grabbed it and I just started running. Like I just started chasing him with it. And I remember he was trying to call my mama like, your daughter's crazy. Get your child. She's trying to stab me. Da, 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 da. I did not care. Like, I really, I just did not care at the time. I just didn't, I just didn't care. And when I tell people this story, they don't believe me. And I be trying to tell people like, that is literally what happened. Like, I'm trying to tell you. I really don't remember after that. I just remember at me as I'm growing up, my mom and my grandpa would just still bring that story up um till this day they still bring the story up and there's so many other stories about my childhood that i just have to share so if you want to see those videos or if you want me to talk about it as a story time definitely let me know because i have a whole bunch of childhood stories and i was just sitting here thinking about it like i was so crazy like, people always ask me did i ever get whoopings and i never got a whooping from all the stuff that i've done I've never got a whipping for it. Look at this rice water just hanging. It's not like they were scared of me. They was just, it was just a matter of, it was just the fact that I was crazy and it was just a safety concern probably. So that's probably why they was like, it's better off if you don't make her mad. I apologized. <laughs> I definitely apologized to him um, a couple months ago actually, but I told him to stop throwing the water on me, so. That's it, that's the end of the story. Um, so if you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and please subscribe and hit the notification bell for any time making a video. And that is it, and I'll see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. The next video, by the way, is gonna be the rice water. I'm doing a five-day challenge. Sneak peek, bye-bye.